It's a county that's rich in natural beauty. From clean sandy beaches to rich farmland that reaches from shore to horizon. A thriving resort community. A vast agribusiness industry. And an ever-growing commerce community ranging from banking to high-tech, manufacturing to retail. Its towns and villages offer a rich history along with a contemporary culture of jazz festivals, playhouses, and much more. There are accommodations in every price range to fit every lifestyle. And there's ample room for everyone to love and enjoy the great outdoors. The quality of life in this special place has drawn ever larger crowds, some for the summer and others year round. This growth has placed an ever increasing demand on the county's transportation infrastructure. This special place is Sussex County, Delaware. And the growing question here is, what road will the county travel as we begin a new century? It wasn't that many years ago, Sussex County was simply a large agricultural community, bordered on the east by a narrow strip of beach. Today, it's home to large department stores, outlet malls, along with national and regional retailers. An increasingly diverse population continues to expand the county. Growth feeds growth, and more people means demand for more services, like hospitals, libraries, schools and colleges, police and fire. More people and more services means more demand on the county's transportation system. Today, some areas of the county are already overly congested with traffic. As other parts of the county are developed, this problem is likely to grow. The pressing question for residents, businesses, and public officials is how to handle this growth while maintaining the county's treasured quality of life. Currently, the county's public transportation system consists of three weekday fixed routes which serve Milford, Bridgeville, Seaford, Laurel, Georgetown, Milton, Lewis, and Rehoboth. But is this current system sufficient to meet the needs of the near future? or will people be forced to miss the bus? In addition to the demands of year-round residents, the county's transportation system must adjust to the huge influx of summer visitors. Presently, DART's summer resort service covers eight routes, including Ocean City, Maryland. These routes are hubbed at DART's park and ride lot just off Route 1. But each year brings a larger and larger summer migration. What strategies can be developed to avoid future gridlock, particularly on summer weekends? In addition to intra-county service for residents and visitors, DART has endeavored to address the growing demand for inter-county service. Currently, DART's Sussex Transit System offers weekday service between Sussex and Kent counties with connections to Wilmington. DART's weekend summer buses offer transit from Wilmington to Rehoboth. As the downstate population grows, the demand for intercounty service will likely increase beyond the scope of the existing offerings. A key aspect of the current DART system are the strategically located park and ride locations, which also serve as hubs for centralizing DART bus route operations. These locations are designed to provide the public with one convenient spot for accessing the network of DART bus routes. The future challenge will be developing incentives to draw more people to these facilities, as well as identifying strategic new locations where park and rides could reduce highway congestion. Like all counties, Sussex County's population includes low-income and public assistance recipients. Working with numerous other agencies, DART has developed public transit options so that persons wanting to work don't miss the bus. In addition to linking these employees and potential employers, these services also provide transportation to area medical facilities and educational opportunities for those without private transportation. The future will likely demand more options as the low-income population grows. A viable and reliable public transportation system in the county is not simply a need of the low-income individual either. In the decade of the 1990s, the county's population expanded by 38% to over 161,000. A large part of this growth were retirees whose ranks have helped make Delaware the fifth leading state in the nation where people retire to.
Guard's current paratransit system provides approximately 112,000 trips annually in Sussex County for the elderly and the physically challenged. With the rapid growth of this demographic, DART will be challenged to expand future services with more routes and more options for those who cannot or choose not to drive. Sussex County's road to the future must embrace the concept of transit-friendly development. Simply adding buses that get stuck in the same traffic jams as automobiles is only a small part of the solution. Simply adding bus routes alone will not attract new riders without amenities such as safe pullover stops with shelters, convenient park and ride lots, and dedicated travel lanes that make taking the bus a practical alternative. New development, both retail and residential, needs to incorporate transit-friendly design in the planning stage and not as an afterthought when construction is complete. One thing is for certain, Sussex County's many attractive features will continue to draw more and more people. In order to minimize the impact of increased traffic, we need to plan now how we will travel the road to the future. To provide all citizens with the opportunity to avail themselves of jobs, education, health care, and leisure activities will require innovative, forward thinking. We cannot afford to simply let them build it and they'll find a way to get there. That philosophy is a road to nowhere. The road to the future is to plan, anticipate, and work with business, citizens, and the community to develop a transportation system that serves everyone and serves them well. Like every road traveled, the route we take is a choice, not a chance. Let's choose to grow transportation in Sussex County in a way that preserves its natural beauty and serves all residents well.